Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. To replace the circulation pump, you will need to uninstall the dishwasher first. To do this, turn off the power supply to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Next, remove the screws to release the lower access panel and set the panel aside. Disconnect the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Remove the mounting screw to release the junction box cover. Note the orientation of the wires on the terminal block, then loosen the screws to release the wires. Remove the screw to detach the wire strain relief bracket. Use a flathead screwdriver to help remove the nut to release the strain relief from the bracket. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to remove the leveling leg locking screws and adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now, to avoid damage, very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Unsnap the covers for the hinge ropes and set them aside. Next, disconnect the hinge rope hooks from both sides of the door. Open the dishwasher door and remove the screws securing the outer door panel. Close the door securely and pull the outer door panel down to remove. Uninstall the screws to release the inner access plate. Unhook the plate from the frame and harness support and set it aside. Move the sound dampening pad out of the way and uninstall the screws in both the front and rear which secure the dishwasher frame to the base. Pull out the lower dish rack, remove the lower wash arm and rotate the filter basket counterclockwise to detach it from the sump. Pull off the fine filter. Now remove the mounting screws which secure the lower arm support to the sump. Uninstall the screws securing the sump supports and remove the supports and screws. Be prepared for some water to leak out. Pull off the insulation blanket and side cover. Now carefully tilt the dishwasher back so its rear panel rests on a blanket or carpet. Detach the fill hose from its retaining clip and disconnect the hose from the sump. Now slide the base away from the tub. Remove the drain pump by depressing the tab and rotating clockwise. You will now need to uninstall the circulation pump and sump assembly. Detach the circulation pump from the base. Disconnect the sump outlet hose from the sump and lift the assembly away from the base. Now loosen or remove the clamps securing the circulation pump to the heater housing seal and detach the old pump. Be aware this may require some effort.
You're now ready to install the new circulation pump. Position the existing clamp on the heater housing seal or install a new one if necessary. Align the new pump with the seal and the sump and push it into position. Tighten the clamp. Now transfer the wires from the old pump to the new one. Transfer the mounting straps as well. Reconnect the sump outlet hose to the circulation pump and sump assembly. Position the assembly on the base and secure it with the mounting straps. Reattach the drain pump by aligning it on the sump housing and rotating counterclockwise to lock the pump into place. Slide the base in so it aligns with the tub. Reconnect the fill hose and secure the hose under the retaining clip. Now carefully lift the dishwasher to its upright position. Realign the side cover. And replace the insulation blanket. Reposition the sump supports and secure them with the screws. Reinstall the lower wash arm support screws. Replace the fine filter. Replace the filter basket in the sump by rotating it clockwise to lock it into place. Reinstall the lower wash arm and replace the dish rack. Secure the base to the frame by reinstalling the screws in the front and the rear. Reposition the sound dampening pad. Replace the inner access plate by hooking it onto the frame and harness support, then secure it with the screws. Reinstall the outer door panel by sliding it up into position and replace the screws in the inner panel to secure. Reconnect the hinge rope hooks on both sides of the door. Replace the covers. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall, then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary, and replace the locking screws. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Insert the wire strain relief through the bracket and secure the nut. Align the bracket with the terminal block and replace the screw. Reattach the wires to their respective terminals and secure them with the screws. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Replace the junction box cover and secure it with the mounting screw. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Replace the lower access panel 
and secure the screws. You're now ready to turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and confirm that the dishwasher is functioning properly.